you have remarkably little here on early to winter history. All these gifts to the Inquisition, and the best they can do is the Malefica Imperio, trite propaganda. But if you want 20 volumes on whether Divine Galatea took a shit on Sunday, this is evidently the place to find it. That's the Dorian I know, critiquing every book in my library. I wouldn't have to if you could find some rebellious heretic archivist to join the cause. Are there rebellious archivists? Other than you, that is. If Corypheus ever starts burning masterworks of literature, I'm sure a few will pop up. Did I see something by Genitivi here? I could have sworn. What is this about, Dorian? What else could it be about? What happened at Adamant, of course? We went into the Fade. Physically went in. Are you... all right? Stroud is gone. The Fade is an ordeal under normal circumstances. To be the only real thing there, beyond description. That any of us made it out alive is difficult to believe. You do realize this feat hasn't been performed in over a thousand years. Corypheus and his contemporaries entered the Fade and began the Blights. In comparison. At least you were at my side. <laughs> no offense, but I'd almost rather I hadn't been. No sense of adventure? That's surprising. I've not your talent for survival. And not everyone is as discerning as I. If you can walk in the Fade, others will try to follow. Who knows what secrets Corypheus has revealed? Not all of them will be as lucky as you. What they could unleash. My advice? Keep this quiet. Let them speculate. Too many will see this as a challenge. You don't number among them? It's... tempting. But I am no fool. There are enough idiots in the world who think if they just use enough blood magic, their problems will vanish. It's exactly the sort of thing I want to stop back home. This... this I don't need. What I do need is a copy of the Liberalum. I'll wager I can find Corypheus' real name. If I can prove he was a grasping ankle biter with no family to speak of, the luster would come right off. Wish me luck. I could watch you roam Skyhold all day. Here and there you run, checking in on your followers. Why don't they come to you, feed you grapes, rub your shoulders? I suppose it's more fun this way. For me, I mean. You're rather strapping. I've noticed you're rather strapping yourself. Of course you have. That only takes eyes. Luckily, I have those. <laughs> you do. A rather fetching pair. At any rate, you didn't pass by to hear me fall. Something on your mind? I should go. I do rather like watching you leave. Liliana just gave me quite the speech. What about? About us. <sighs> oh, she is impossible. Might we discuss this somewhere more private? Liliana said I was an innocent in love? More or less. Of all the... I'm quite capable of understanding our association. I've never thought your intentions were overly romantic, Inquisitor, I, I assure you. Perhaps I should have composed a ballad then, or sent roses. What? You mean you do? We've only just... I, I didn't wish to presume you harbored any uh, tender feelings for me. I have no objections. Presume away. But we haven't even known each other a few short months. How can you declare this liking for me after such a brief time together? I've never met anyone whose presence affects me like you do. Perhaps it just means I'm a hopeless romantic, but there you have it. I would not object to a closer relationship between us, my lord. If 
that sounds agreeable to you. I'm actually quite glad Liliana prompted this talk. I suppose she was right after all. Please don't tell her I said that. I wouldn't dream of it. We should share with our most valued customers. Inquisitor, I wonder if you might help me with a delicate situation. There is an alchemical formula that I must complete, but I have been unable to obtain a critical ingredient. The heart of a snowy wyvern. I had arranged to obtain one, but the chevaliers working with me were killed in the Civil War. If I'm going to hunt down a snowy wyvern, I need you to tell me everything you know about it. They're quite rare and exceedingly dangerous. Their venom is the most potent of any wyvern. Ordinary hunters would not make the attempt. The risk is too great. You, my dear, would certainly be an equal to this monster. I'm not a hunter. Why do you think I can help? This beast is not hunted for sport, as other wyvern sometimes are. It is far more deadly. In the past, chevaliers have been dispatched to either kill the creatures or drive them away from villages. Since my chevaliers have fallen to political conflict, I find myself in need of someone with a martial aptitude. I didn't know you were an alchemist, Vivian. What exactly is this project you're working on? It is a special request from a member of the Council of Heralds. I am still the Imperial Court Enchanter, after all. The matter is private. That is all there is to say. You want me to risk my life to get this thing for you, but won't tell me what it's for? My dear, it is hardly proper for me to blab the secrets of those who put trust in my discretion. I would not have attained my position at court if I didn't know when to be silent. I'll do what I can. Thank you, my dear. I would be most grateful. I shall give the location of its lair to Cullen. Remember, my dear, I must have its heart, or the potion will not work. I eagerly await your success. You walked physically through the Fade. Please tell me what you remember. I was physically in the Fade at the Temple of Sacred Ashes, too. You didn't ask about that. Darling, you didn't remember anything. Questioning you would have hardly been productive. No one else has physically entered the Fade since the Magisters assaulted the Golden City. Oh, I'm positively envious right now. Do you think that you and I might someday? How very sweet of you to ask, but no. Yes? I'd like to know more about you, Madam Vivienne. Whatever would you like to know. 
your accents, not all Asian. Where exactly are you from? I am from the Circle, my dear. One's country of origin rarely matters there. But if you must know, I was born in Wycombe in the Free Marches. I was sent to the Ostwick Circle, but I transferred to Mont Simard while still an apprentice. I'm curious how a Circle mage winds up a courtier. Nobody winds up at court, my dear. It takes a great deal of effort to arrive there. I caught the eye of Duke Bastien de Ghislaine, an advantageous connection that opened many doors. When the position of Enchanter to the Imperial Court became vacant, I was able to secure it. You're married to the Duke de Ghislaine? <laughs> of course not, my dear. Don't be ridiculous. Marriage is the business of alliance and inheritance. I'm Bastien's mistress. And what does the Duchess de Ghislaine think of this arrangement? We got along quite well. Duchess Nicoline and I used to host musical salons together. She was a great patron of the arts. She passed away from a fever a few years ago. Poor dear. What duties does a court enchanter have? I am tasked with providing assistance to the Empress on arcane matters. Most of my predecessors restricted this to lighting lamps and doing parlor tricks. In such troubled times as these, however, I provide political advice to Her Majesty on the subject of the Mage Rebellion. Yes? Your lost books have been found. Your assistance in this matter will not be forgotten, I assure you. I understand you have spared the Grey Wardens from destroying what goodwill was left them. It's good of you, considering the weakness Corypheus exploited was their own doing. Still, should a true archdemon one day arise, they will no doubt be needed. Or so they would have us believe. I'd like to know more about you. If you have questions, then ask. I'll leave you to the garden. Of course. I imagine your forces will be heading into the Arbor Wilds very soon, Inquisitor. Trust me when I say that wherever the Alluvian is hidden, it is worth any effort to prevent Corypheus from acquiring it. You seem to know a great deal about Elven law. The Dalish are not the only ones interested in the distant past, Inquisitor. Indeed, my skills allow me access to places the Dalish dare not even dream of. The ancient Elves hold secrets they have not yet given up. Secrets about the foundation of Thedas itself. Thus, they are my focus. Corypheus clearly feels the same. I'll leave you to the garden. Until next time, then. Those who Your Worship. witness and work to deceive others know this. There is but one. Inquisitor, the soldiers say you banished the demons at Adamant lives. and freed the Grey Warden mages. I understand from Sister Leliana that the truth is somewhat more complex, but no less extraordinary. She said that you spoke with a figure in the Fade that seemed to be the soul of divine Justinia. I suspect many of the faithful would like to know what Justinia told you. She helped me remember what happened to the Conclave. The Maker didn't give me the mark on my hand. I was struck in battle, and Andraste didn't send me. The figure everyone saw was Divine Justinia. Ah. And how do you feel about what you have learned? I don't have time to dwell on it. We have a war to fight. Then I will save my own ruminations upon faith and belief, and simply pray for your success, Inquisitor. It is wise that you do not let what happened in the Fade spread, however. Some would not understand. Now, is there anything I can help you with? Farewell. Make her go with you.